Hey Storm Nation, I'm Coach Mike Jassa and I'm here with my friend and PBA bowler, Brad Miller. And we're here today at the Storm HQ to do some testing on balls and different lane conditions when you don't know what you're bowling on. A lot of people bowl weekend tournaments, you don't know the pattern ahead of time, so I get this question asked a lot and you probably do too, Brad. All the time. Of how do you know where to play and what ball to use? So that's what we're going to do today. Yep. So if you don't have a pattern, you definitely need to figure out how far uh, down the lane the pattern is going. Um, the first ball out of my bag every single time is just kind of your favorite benchmark ball, the Phase 2, IQ Tour, maybe an Idol, something that's very controllable. And then you start all the way over to the right just to see where the hook is. Get all the way over to the right, and what we're doing right now, this can be your warm-up shot. You're just throwing it. It doesn't have to be super fast. You're just trying to see where the hook is and how far down the lane the ball goes before it starts hooking. And then you also need to know where, you're, where the out of bounds is, if, if there is any. What we like to call is hang, um, to where if you miss right, it doesn't hook back. So you need to know those two things, how, or three things. How long the pattern is, where your ball hooks, and where it doesn't hook. Good job, Brad. That wasn't bad. So that's your third shot and you hit the pot. Yep. So a lot of people, what I see is they see that hook like two shots ago, the ball hooked the head from the left. And they think, well, it's hooking, I gotta move further left. Why didn't you do that? Because you're smart. That's, well, that's, smart. <laughs> that's interesting okay. though, because if you looked at what my first ball did when I was all the way out to the right, it didn't hook all that much. But the one I'm left on hooked way too much. So that's just gonna continue if you continue to move farther left. We know that the farther left you move, the more hook you're running into. On a short pattern. On a short pattern. Correct. But let's try it. Let's, because somebody would say, okay. like, they're hooking, move further left and see if there's oil in there. Okay. We can let's do have that. you move in. Okay. All right, Brad. So that was a pretty good example of what to do on short. Yeah. All right. Uh, but what if it's not short? Like, again, what if you play out there and your ball doesn't hook and, and your ball like never reads a the lane? Then what do you do? Well, there's a couple things you can do. When your ball doesn't hook back, a lot of times that's a good indication to just get away from it. So what we like to do is if, you, if your ball experiences an out of bounds portion, like you get it out there and it washes out or it doesn't come back, we like to just get away from that completely. So you may move two or three zones in if your ball if the pattern allows your ball to be in. Um, but the other thing you can do is try some surface. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking an eye roll on pad, hitting with 2,000, maybe 1,000, just to get some teeth on that ball. And if you do that and it still has an out of bounds, well then you know you need to move everything in and get and away point from in. that. Yeah. Um, but as you saw on that short pattern, when we moved left, there was just more hooks, so we can't. And on a lot of short patterns, that's, that's the point of them, is they don't want you to play inside, they want you to play close, close to that gutter which is bad for me because I throw a lot of gutters. <laughs> um, but I do want to touch on one more thing that I think could be the most important thing. And when you're, when you're bowling this 15 minute practice session before tournaments, before league, you know, whatever it is, you have your 10 to 12 shots that you get. But you also get the opportunity to watch everybody around you as well. And that can equate to maybe 60, 70 shots of people Correct. throwing balls where you're just watching and gaining information off what they're doing. For example, you had me throw that third shot all right. the way over to the left and play fourth arrow. Now, if I saw somebody on my pair or the pairs next to me do that and take three off the left or it hooked way too much, I wouldn't even need to have that, la that, Absolutely. that shot because now I already know, well, that's out, of, that's out of play. And you can even read ball motion by watching somebody shoot a spare shot. Yeah, and we do that all the time. I mean, that's in order to know where to play and what ball to throw, watching the people around you is such a big deal because it shortcuts everything. You don't have to do your own uh, shots to make sure you know what you're doing. You're, you're gaining information off everyone else. Yeah, yeah so that's, the, that's kind of the tips we got. Um, if you're looking for more tips, I actually have a, a YouTube channel with my buddy Kyle, Brad and Kyle. You can get some tips there. Also, the Storm Nation channel. They put out a lot of stuff too. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching this video on how to get lined up. Uh, and how to throw the right ball. Ball up a storm.